Hello, Aquarius viewers. We're going to look into your story, what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, um, just whatever the cards want to tell you. So let's see what's going on with you guys. The group that's um, drawn to these readings, I it's a continued past life story of um, a couple people that well, I mean, it, it's for a group, so it's more than just it's more than just one couple. It's probably a select few couples, but basically, you guys have experienced um, war, poverty, uh, you know, anarchy in your past lives, and I, I keep getting strongly that your person saw you die in in one of your past lives, and that trauma and that pain is carried over to this life. So that's, you know, a big part of why they keep getting so afraid. I think that their energy has kind of confused you. It's like they go back and forth. They they shut you out. It's like they're just so afraid of letting you in. They're so nervous. And it's, it's because you died in a really traumatic, violent way in one of your past lives. And I think this was leading some sort of rebellion. Um, I get like a, a Scottish or Irish rebellion for a lot of you. And if you're interested, if this is resonating with you, if that's your story, you might be interested to go back and check out my other Aquarius videos because I do, you know, go into detail about those past lives. So it's it's really interesting to, to kind of hear some of, you know, what you guys might have experienced in your past lives if you don't already know about it. But let's see what we can get from the cards today. The last video I did, the cards were mostly just wanting to explain their behavior to you, like why, because I think their behavior... You know, their their fear, their anxieties were just sort of confusing you. And so the last video was mostly just focused on, you know, talking about the past lives and and um, explaining why, why they keep doing the things that they do. But I think uh, the videos before that, too, kind of even go more in-depth into, into those past lives. So let's see what's going on now. Okay, it looks like your person is making some progress here is what I'm getting. We've got the wheel, we've got the, the tower reverse, we've got the two of cups, the temperance, the eight of wands, the ace of wands, the seven of wands, the devil, the queen of cups, and the moon. Kind of feel like you're leading your person out of this energy. Maybe you've started doing healing rituals for them since you've been... Maybe for those of you that are watching my channel, maybe you've started doing healing rituals for them. Maybe some of you have even talked to them about the past lives or, or, or tried to figure out some way to tell them about this energy. And it looks like there is some improvement here. It's kind of a little bit back and forth because we see later on they go back into that seven of wands, like defensive devil energy. This is all about patterns. And like I was, you know, if you watch my other videos um, that I've been doing over the last... But it's probably been three or four months at least that I've been channeling this this collective group, this um, these past life stories. So you know, there's a lot of Aquarius videos that I have on my channel. If you if you go back and find them, that will probably um, resonate with you. If this one resonates with you, you know, and it's it'd be good just to if you guys want to just see, um, you know, if you just want to hear about like what some of the stuff you might have experienced in your past lives, and just kind of have like a clearer understanding of of their behavior. I would recommend checking those videos out. I'm just not going to get too deep into it now because for those that have been watching for a while, I want to, you know, explain the progress that you're making now that you're you're coming through that energy. So it's kind of back and forth still, but still, but whatever whatever healing rituals you're doing or, or the support you're giving them, it could be energetic. It doesn't necessarily that you mean that you guys are in contact like you might be, but it might just be that they're they're feeling your support, they're feeling your love. There, you're putting maybe your soul, maybe your soul is sort of aware now that you know that, that you guys have been repeating these these patterns and these soul contracts that originate from your past lives, and maybe um, it's like on some five D you know uh, astral realm level, it's like your your spirit is kind of helping helping your person, your soulmate, or your twin flame heal from this. This is definitely a very deep true love story. So I'm thinking that you guys are probably twin flames because you're both very old souls. You're both warrior souls. You both you know have past lives of of war, of you know leading rebellions, of of trauma, of 
you know, I see, I see ancient, ancient past lives, like, you know, Ireland, Scotland, um, like the Viking times, even for some of you, um, like, like old, old past lives. So you're both old souls. So I'm guessing this is probably your twin flame. I would, I would assume, or at least, um, a soulmate that's usually your life partner, a very strong soulmate. But anyway, whatever you're doing for your person, whatever, I don't know if you're, if you're in contact and you're saying something different now, like you're maybe, um, maybe verbally, like you're showing more support or you're, you're keeping them on their toes more, or you're pushing them more to, to do better. Or maybe you're just sending them healing energy, love, just this gentle energy, whatever it is, it is working. There's a little bit of a back and forth here. So like with the wheel, it's kind of like, it's like this, your person is becoming, I don't know if they're conscious of it. I don't know if you guys had a conversation or not, but it's kind of like, it kind of feels like your person is becoming aware of these soul contracts. They're becoming aware that maybe they're going through like a psychic awakening process. It's kind of like your, your person is becoming more aware of, you know, I see this as past lives because look, we've got three people here. It's like they all look the same. They're in just in different energy and we have this red thread here. And so it's like your, your person is kind of on some level becoming aware of these soul contracts. So I'm wondering if maybe some of you guys actually talked about it and maybe they didn't didn't say much or maybe they didn't take it seriously, but maybe they're starting to really think about it and it's it's making sense to them now. It could also just be, I mean, they might not even be like conscious of these of these soul contracts, you know? It's you have to be pretty psychic to actually be completely aware of your past lives and you know what know what you've been through in your past lives. And, and understand those patterns and like actually be able to say like, hey, like the reason I'm, you know, never able to relax and the reason I, you know, feel like everything has to be a struggle is because that's how it's been in my past lives. I've never been able to just be happy. I've never been able, it's like your person has never just been able to have a normal life. And so they might not actually be conscious of, um, you know, that that's originating from their past lives and from the struggles, the, all those intense struggles you guys face together in your past lives. But I think that they're at least aware that, um, I think they're at least aware that, that there's a pattern that they're repeating, even if they can't put their finger on where it originates from. You know, I think that they, they're at least starting to aware, be aware that they have this pattern where it's like, they just can't rest. Like they don't allow themselves to really heal. They just, everything has to be a struggle. Like they can't, they're very passionate, but it's like they can't imagine themselves just having a normal, happy, stable life. It's like, it's either not enough for them or they think it's like, it's too normal. Like they, they think it, it can't be that easy. Like something would come up. That's like, it's like, they just have a warrior spirit and it's like, that's good. That can be, you both have warrior spirits, you know, you're both nearing each other in that way. You know, especially with all the past lives with like everything you've been through. But at the same time, it's like they can't relax. Like they still, they still on some deep level feel like they're still in battle. Like they have not healed from that past life trauma. But they're becoming conscious of something. So some of them might actually be going through a psychic awakening and actually becoming aware of these past lives. Or maybe you told them about them and they're starting to really listen to you finally. Others might just be aware of the patterns, like they might not be conscious that it's originating from past lives, but they might just be like, you know what, it's weird that I can never relax. It's, 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 it sucks that I can never fully commit. It sucks that I can't imagine, you know, just being happy with someone and just relaxing. Like I want to change. I don't know where these patterns come from. I don't understand why I'm so afraid, especially with you. They're like, they don't understand why they're, why they run, why they're so afraid of, you hurting them, why it gives them so much anxiety. And it's, it's this past life trauma that, you know, having to watch you die, that's, that's what causes that pain. That's what causes them to run. That's what causes all this fear that neither of you have understood up until now. But either way, they're, they're, they have some understanding, you know, they, they have some sort of understanding that there's a pattern repeating, even if they don't understand what the pattern is or why it's there. And, and so it's like the tower moment, the tower is reversed here. So it's kind of like, almost like the tower isn't necessary anymore. Like they're, you know, the tower I would see is like, 
that pattern of thinking, you know, like think life has to be a struggle. Life has to be a hard life. Life has to be hard. It's going to be one battle after another. It's just it's one thing after another. And it's like, they're kind of saying, you know what? I've had a thousand tower moments in my life. I don't want any more. I want love. I want balance. I want to get out of this energy. Finally, I don't want everything to be a struggle. I want, they want love with you. They want balance. They, they want to balance things out. They want it. They know that they're passionate, but it's like sometimes all of that just gets, tr gets, gets poured into negative outlets or translated in the wrong ways. And so they know that they need to find healthier outlets. They need to find a better balance for all that energy and all that passion. You know, they are eight of wands here. It's like they are a very passionate person. They are very, um, you know, fearless and, and strong. You both are. You both have warrior spirits. You know, this is, this is going for, this is, this is this new life that they're, they, they want. So they're really, they're trying to do better. I don't know if you guys have had a talk or what's, what's gone on, but it's like, whatever it is, it's like, they are trying to find balance. They are trying to, to find their way finally. Got Ace of Wands here. So it's like a new creative start. Hmm. Seven of Wands and the Devil energy, though. That's interesting. I just feel like you're guiding them through it. So you're either a woman or you are you could be a man that's in feminine energy. And your person is, like, in more of a masculine energy right now. And it could be male, male, female, female, you know. There, there's, there could always be someone in masculine energy and someone in feminine energy, even when it comes to gay and lesbian relationships, you know. It's whatever energy you're resonating with right now. And I see you as being in this feminine energy right now, whether you're male or female, because I see the Queen of Cups and the Moon. It's kind of like you're guiding your person out of this devil energy. Now, I don't know if you're, like I said, I don't know if you're actually talking to them and you're consciously doing this, or if this is like in the 5D, like your spirit is doing this, like you're sending them, maybe channeling and sending them healing energy without even being fully conscious of it. And you're kind of helping them find their way because they're so lost right now. With the Seven of Wands, it's almost like they just fell back or like there's a risk of them falling back here, you know, defending their their ego, defending these, these patterns, defending their way of being, you know, like, no, life does, like, allowing themselves to be happy and to try to find themselves. And then they're like, no, wait, life does have to be a struggle. Life is difficult. Like, you know, old patterns, old, and again, soul contracts. You guys might have soul contracts that you need to end, that you keep repeating. You know, I had, I think I talked about that. That's why I keep saying like, if this is resonating, you should go back and watch my other Aquarius videos because I really go more in depth into the, the past life history with you too. So it might give you some clarity. But I think one of the things I've talked about in one of my other videos is um, ending soul contracts. I think I might've talked about that, that in one of my Aquarius videos. Cause you know, I had something similar where I, I did some pretty bad things in my Viking life and in the lives that followed, I actually died pretty young and violently. And I noticed in this lifetime that I was punishing myself for that. I was keeping myself in pain and heartbreak, um, thinking that life had to be a struggle. I had this soul contract. I'd already paid all my karmic debt, but I, I was just so used to my lives being a struggle and to, you know, violence and dying early that I kept repeating that soul contract. And I had to end it because I'm like that, that energy was cleared already, but I was so used to it because it had continued from, you know, life after life after life. And I was still punishing myself for what I did in my, in my Viking life. And I think, you know, cause in the lives that followed, I was punished. So I think I just kept that energy up of punishing myself. And I, I ended that soul contract that this lifetime and you can't always end soul contracts. There's some that I think that you, your soul wants, but there are certain soul contracts that you can end. Like if you have one that's just repeating that you, you know, might have, I don't want to say unwillingly signed, but sometimes you just have that energy that repeats that you no longer need. So there are certain soul contracts that you can, you can end. And if you have one of those soul contracts here where it's like, you know, your person is, is punishing themselves for, um, something they've been through. It's like past life trauma where it's like you had that almost like a soul contract of trauma where it's like they expect that now they expect to lose you now it's like you can I believe you I really believe that most of you can end that soul contract you know like I said soul contracts are tricky some can be ended some can't be ended but 
if you know anything about ending soul contracts, I would look into that. But, um, but anyway, so son of wands and the devil, it's kind of like they start slipping back into those patterns again, but with the queen of cups, you're in this very strong feminine energy. It's like, look how, and this is, again, this is male or female. Like, look how grounded this person is. Look how stable they are. It's like, they're just, she's looking down, but she's still just, she's there. She's emotionally available. She's supportive. She's loving. She's motherly. She's nurturing, you know? And it's like, you, you know, this is, the moon is, is mystery and enchantment and, and intuition and, you know, the truth being revealed, these secrets being revealed and coming to light. And I see it as this, this, you know, strong, almost like motherly, intuitive, loving, compassionate energy that you're in. It's like your person is feeling that energy and it's helping them get through this. It's helping them come through this energy and out the other side. So they are making progress, you know. It's the same story I've been getting the last six months, but it seems like they are kind of... They're, they're start, they're finally starting, they've become aware of this pattern and aware that they want to fix it and that they want to be emotionally available and that they don't understand why they're so afraid of getting hurt, but that they, they want to change that. They want peace, stability. They want to come in with a love offer. I believe they, they want more. They, yeah, they want to come forward. Yeah. They're kind of eight of swords energy where it's like they're, they, they're starting to wake up now and realize that there's a way out right in front of them, their castle, their true love, all of this, this happiness abundance that they want. It's like, they've been blocking themselves from it, you know, and they're starting to realize there actually is reward after hard work. There is, you know, good things coming in and they have this perspective shift and, and the perspective shift is it's coming in, you know, thanks to you and your strength and your stability in you know, your intuition and your love for them and your patience with them, you know, just that it's like they can feel that energy. Maybe, maybe you pray for them or maybe you do rituals for them or maybe you just send them good energy. Like they can feel it and it's helping them on their path. It's helping them go through this energy shift, this perspective shift so that they can get in tune with that vibration and love so that they can accept love. They can accept that they deserve good things. They can accept that good things could actually last for them, that they could actually have you know, a long-term stable relationship with you. I think there's just such a huge fear of losing you because of the past life trauma. But, but yeah, your, your love and support and empathy, um, on an energetic level, like telepathically, it's, it's getting them through all this energy and, and they're, they're having this new perspective. So, so good energy coming in. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate any donations, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal link is right below. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe, check my other videos out. And if you'd like a private reading, my email address is below. Thank you for watching.